Congratulations. Oh my you gosh. Are, you are pregnant. <laughs> My entire life, I have wanted this one thing, and that was to be a mom. All of a sudden, I'm 43, divorced, and my dream is in the process of being shattered. I've been very fortunate. I got to go to college. I went to grad school. I've been very fortunate as well that my career has been fantastic. Things were great, but there's always been one thing missing, and that from the beginning of the time for me was the only thing I wanted in my life was to be a mom. And I think part of it was the influence that my mother had on me. She gave me such a gift in how she raised four kids. You know, she's president of, of our fan club. You know, if you're having a bad day, you call mom. If you're having a good day, you call mom. And just experiencing that, I would love to be able to be that to somebody else. Where is it? <laughs> if I could rescue all the dogs in the world, I would. I am so obsessed with animals, and in particular rescues. Uh, so I have two rescue dogs. They are two peas in a pod. Lily, seriously, are you a human? Do you think about having a new brother or a sister? Give me your thoughts. I think as a woman, especially as you get older, there's an expectation that you're procreating. Do you have kids? That question always made me uncomfortable. It made me sad and uncomfortable, and I'd have to answer, well, I have two fuzzy animals that I rescued. It was very hard to lose Lisa, my sister. She was 31 years old. It was very tragic, it was suicide, um, and you know, it was uh, absolutely devastating. And to be quite honest, it's one of the things that has inspired me to do what I'm doing here. Life is very short and I feel like um, we need to, to take the opportunities that are presented to us. It was a month after my divorce and I started to get very serious about um, researching and, and kicking this around. At that moment in time, I didn't feel like there was a situation where it wouldn't be, I would not be a mom. It was how I was gonna be a mom. I really wanted to experience being pregnant and going through this process with the child. Like that's an unbreakable bond. I think IVF in vitro fertilization has allowed for us to think beyond the traditional family, a heterosexual couple having the ability to have a child, gay and lesbian couples that have always wanted to be parents, people like myself who are single women who want to have a child. It has completely expanded the possibilities for all of these people and I think in turn has redefined what it means to be a family. I'll never forget Dr. Gracia, the, the first appointment, she's like, okay, let's get you pregnant. Let's make this happen. I was like, that's the attitude I need. This is um, where it really gets real. This next step is really to help my uterus, from what I understand, um, have the appropriate lining to receive the embryo. I'm gonna pinch. Gosh, that is not a big deal at all. Now it's getting real. Guys, are you excited? Are you happy about this? What are you doing? So I used an egg donor, a sperm, sperm donor, and then we moved right forward to transferring the embryo. So for today, I will get an understanding of where they all are, um, the embryos. That's important, obviously, because they're going to grade them, tell me which one they're going to transfer. Transfer the one. That's amazing. Exactly. Wow. Great. Seven so, above average result. Definitely. Because <laughs> I'm not an overachiever at all. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. Wonderful. Wow. All right. This is awesome.
for you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good luck. Look at this. Uh -huh. Inside the shell. And then this is the inner cell mass. That becomes the actual baby. <laughs> Five minutes, but it's like life changing. I don't, it's just crazy. Now I'm hoping I get some symptoms. <laughs> I know that's kind of crazy. Transfer day, I, I totally felt pregnant afterwards. Fast forward 10 days after the transfer, that's when you hear from the office whether or not, you know, things are right. So you have to get a blood test first and then they call you. When I got the call from Becky to say, you are pregnant, that was probably my favorite part. Not, e not even the transfer day. That moment was my favorite. Listen, I have big news for you, Wiggy. You want to have a boy or a girl? Because we know. Who is it going to be? Girl, Wiggy. It's a girl. Stinky. Oh, my God. My sister's picture is in the nursery. She's going to be known very well by Kelsey. I was in the room with her when she gave birth. Her thing was, I don't care what happens, Deirdre is gonna be in the room with me because we have that bond. After she had the baby and she was talking about, you know, I don't know if this is gonna be possible for Deirdre. I really hope for her. I hope she pursues it, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. The fact that I'm having a little girl, she wanted, she was so funny when she had a boy. She's like, I don't even know how to handle this, Deirdre. You're gonna have to help me with the boy. I was supposed to have a girl and now I'm having a girl. For whatever reason, she's been coming to me in my dreams a lot. I feel like she's been the angel on my side through this whole process. And that's why it's been so easy. hours later, my mom cut the umbilical cord and uh, her first visitor was my brother Seth. I'll never forget it when I saw her. This every bit of emotion, happiness, gratitude, appreciation, interest and like, oh my goodness, like I need to see her feet, her toes, her every part of her. Um, and it just was monumental. A, a tsunami of love. Every day is a new journey, and this was the moment that I waited for for 43 years. I don't care if I'm not getting sleep. Like, literally, I have to tape my eyelids open to experience this. I feel like it's, it's part of the journey. It's just everything. I'm gonna get you. Who's baby shark? Who's baby shark? I'm so proud of you. The universe has put me on this path and, and I'm trying to embrace it. If I'm not looking for a partner to um, help me fulfill this, it, it's me and, and that's what I'm going to be doing. And whatever happens next, hey, the Eagles won the Super Bowl. I have a baby. I have my dream house. Like, life is great. GMA fans, Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here. 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.